Alam mo ba na 50 years ago, meron na tayong mega bridge project? Mantakin mo ha, 50 years ago. Politics aside ha, sabi nga nila, history will show you kung bakit napakarami talagang nagmamahal kay dating Pangulong Ferdinand E. Marcos. Siya lang naman kasi ang nangarap na ipatayo ang San Juanico Bridge, our first ever mega bridge project noong 1972. Fast forward today, this is what President Duterte and now Senator Mark Villar envisioned for our country. Connect Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao via land travel with the inter-island mega bridge project. Project Master Plan. Tara na at panoorin na natin ang ipinangako nila. Amplified growth, inclusive economy, sustainable business environment. This is the Philippines' golden age of infrastructure. Fueled by an unprecedented boost in quality infrastructure projects. Interconnectivity and accessibility is a challenge for the 7,100 islands of the Philippines. That's why a series of bridges linking island provinces is being fast-tracked through the Inter-Island Linkage Mega Bridge Program. The Pangil Bay Bridge, envisioned to be the longest in the country, along with the Panay Gimeras Negros Link Bridge and the Panglao Tagbilaran City Offshore Connector Bridge, are the key focus of the program in the provincial areas. These and more are just some of the highlights of the Duterte administration's infrastructure projects under the Build, Build, Build program. You can see that much has been done, but much still needs to be accomplished. Expect that in subsequent years, more and more improvements will eventually unfold before our eyes. We give our best because the Filipinos deserve nothing less. And make no mistake, the best is yet to come. Very exciting ang mga susunod kong mga videos kasi I'll be focusing on the accomplishments of both the DOTR and BPWH in the infrastructure development of our country. Dapat abangan nyo yan and I suggest you to watch until the end of this video para malaman nyo ang kabuoang detalye ng mga mega bridge project na to. So let's dive in na kaagad sa Top 8 Inter-Island Mega Bridge Project Master Plan. At dahil nga identified ito as flagship projects ng DPWH, syempre, dapat nating malaman ang mga kasalukuyang status nila. Number 1. Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge Located in Region 3, Central Luzon, and Region 4A Calabarzon. Status Detailed engineering design is now at 34% and will be completed in 1st Q 2023. Project cost, 175.6 billion pesos. The proposed 32.15 kilometer four-lane bridge starts from Barangay Alas Asin in Mariveles, Bataan, crossing Manila Bay, and terminates in Barangay Timalan, Naik, Cavite. It also involves construction of two navigation bridges, the North Channel Bridge and South Channel Bridge, with main spans of 400 meters and 900 meters respectively. Travel time between Bataan and Cavite will be reduced from nearly 5 hours to less than 2 hours. Wow! Number 2, Panay Gimaras Negros Link Bridge Located in Region 6, Western Visayas. Status, construction to start in 2025. The project cost is 189.5 billion pesos. The 32.47 kilometer and 2 sea crossing bridges including connecting roads and interchanges will link the islands of Panay, Gimaras, and Negros. Travel time between Iloilo Panay and Buena Vista Gimaras will be reduced to 10 minutes from the current 45 minutes, while travel time between Buena Vista Gimaras and Pulupandan Negros Occidental will be reduced from 60 minutes to 15 minutes. Number 3, Cebu Mactan Bridge and Coastal Road Construction Project located in Region 7, Central Visayas. Status, detailed engineering design stage on hold pending the conduct of an ocular inspection and a public consultation about the project. The project cost is 76.4 billion pesos. Construction of a 3.3 kilometer bridge with an elevated viaduct of 2.93 kilometers with two lanes in each direction in a 4.9 kilometer four lane coastal road with a 4.751 kilometers elevated viaduct. Interchanges will be constructed at the linkage between the two projects in Mandawi City. This is the fourth bridge between the main island of Cebu and Mactan. 
travel time saved during peak hours from Bactan and Cebu International Airport to Cebu Port area will be reduced from 45 minutes to 25 minutes. Number 4. Panglao Tagbilaran City Offshore Connector Bridge located in Region 7, Central Visayas. Status 60% completed as of April 2021 with some right-of-way issues. Project cost is 6.9 billion pesos. This is the construction of a 1.268 kilometers four-lane main bridge connecting the main island of Bohol to the municipalities of Dais and Panglao Island. It also involves the construction of two 42.7 meters short span bridges and a 1.398 kilometers approach roads for a total length of 2.71 kilometers consisting of both the bridge and road approach. Travel time from Tagbiliran City Seaport to Panglao Island will be reduced from 45 minutes to 15 minutes. Number 5, Pangil Bay Bridge, located in Region 10, Northern Mindanao. Status, 42% completed as of end of January 2022. Project cost is 7.3 billion pesos. The 3.17 kilometers Pangil Bay Bridge will connect Tangub City in Misamis Occidental and the municipality of Tubod in Lanao del Norte. Once completed, travel time from Lanao del Norte to Misamis Occidental will be reduced from 2.5 hours via the 100 kilometers route Tangub Mulabe, Tubod Road or the Tangub Kapatagan Tubud Road to only 7 minutes. Number 6, Samal Island, Davao City, Connector Bridge, located in Region 11, Davao Region. Status, waiting for the loan agreement with China to be signed. Project cost is 23 billion pesos. This is the construction of a toll-free four-lane bridge with a total length of 3.98 kilometers, including Davao Rumps, an at-grade road and a runabout in Samal. It will measure 24 meters wide and will have a vertical navigational clearance up to 47 meters. The bridge will cross over Pakiputan Strait and can serve around 25,000 vehicles a day between Davao City and the Island Garden City of Samal, also called Igakos. Travel time will be reduced from 26 to 30 minutes using Roro or ferry operations to 2 to 5 minutes. Number 7, Gikam Bridge. Located in Region 9, Sambuanga Peninsula. Status, ongoing procurement for civil works. Project cost is 1 billion pesos. The proposed 1.2 kilometers Gikam Bridge in Sambuanga Peninsula will connect Ulutanga Island to the Mindanao Island and will cross the Canaliso Strait in Sambuanga Sibugay as part of the Improving Growth Corridors in Mindanao Road Sector Project or the IGC MRSP in partnership with the Asian Development Bank which aims to establish the Sambuanga Peninsula region as the agri-fisheries southern corridor of the Philippines. This will also stimulate economic growth and development in Sambuanga, Sibugay, which is one of the poorest provinces in the country and uplift the municipality of Mabuhay, Talusan, and Olotanga from extreme poverty. And number 8, Tawi-Tawi Bridges, located in Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Status for planning. Project cost is 3.3 billion pesos. Also part of the Improving Growth Corridors in Mindanao Road Sector Project involving the construction of three bridges in Tawi-Tawi province with a total gross length of 1.79 kilometers. These bridges are aimed to bring development through improved connectivity between the islands to mainland Tawi-Tawi Island. Bridge number 1, Nalil Sikyat Bridge, a 540.8 meter bridge over Bongao Channel. Bridge number 2, Tongsina Panyongan Bridge, a 569.26 meter bridge over Sanga Sanga Channel. And bridge number 3, Malasa Lupa Pula Bridge, a 680.6 meter bridge over Manalik Channel. Oh, ayan guys, these are the top 8 inter island mega bridge project master plan. Sobrang laki talaga ng pangarap ni President Duterte at Senator Mark Villar para sa ating bansa. As of September 2021, the DPWH already completed 6,333 bridges. Amazing, di ba? 
Duman pa tayo sa pandemic niyan ha. Yan ang kabuoang summary ng mga bridges that were constructed, widened, upgraded, rehabilitated, and strengthened. At dyan pa lang, makikita mo na ang commitment ng DPWH. Desai, ano naman ang connection nito sa real estate investments? Simple lang ang kasagutan ko dyan. Siyempre, iconic mega bridge structures will attract and boost our tourism sector. O ba? Diba? At pagtuloy-tuloy ang pagpapaganda ng land travel ng Pilipinas, 100% sure ako na siguradong patok na business ang Airbnb na paupahan at short-term leasing na mga kondo. Here are the latest offerings of SMDC in the Visayas and Mindanao. Glade Residences This project is located in Circumferential Road 1, Barangay Balabago, Haro, Iloilo City. It is composed of 11 mid-rise buildings with 4 floors each. Get your dream one-bedroom unit for as low as 8,900 pesos or 170 US dollars monthly down payment for 36 months. Style Residences This project is located in Binigno Aquino Avenue, Barangay Buhang, Taft North, Mandur Riau, Iloilo City. It is composed of 5 mid-rise buildings with 16 floors each. Get 5% off up to 170,000 pesos or 3,000 US dollars discount on a studio with balcony units for as low as 15,300 pesos or 293 US dollars monthly down payment for 24 months. Smile Residences This project is located in Palanca Street, Barangay 12, Reclamation Area, Bacolod City. It is composed of three mid-rise buildings with 10 floors each. Get 10% off or up to 383,000 pesos or 7,000 US dollars discount on a studio with balcony units for as low as 8,200 pesos or 156 US dollars monthly down payment for 48 months. Vail Residences This project is located in PN Roa Senior Avenue, Barangay Carmen, Uptown Cagayan de Oro City. It is composed of 14 mid-rise buildings with four floors each. Get your dream one-bedroom unit for as low as 7,800 pesos or 149 US dollars monthly down payment for 51 months. Lane Residences This project is located in the Kudaw Loop, Barangay San Antonio, Lanang, Davao City. It is composed of eight mid-rise buildings with 14 floors each. Get 10% off or up to 411,000 pesos or 7,000 US dollars discount on a studio with balcony units for as low as 8,800 pesos or 168 US dollars monthly down payment for 48 months. If you like and learn a lot from my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the major infrastructure projects and huge SMDC discounts. Umiwas tayo sa SCAM and talk to unauthorized SMDC international marketing partners only like me. Makakatipid ka na, may malaking discount ka pa. O diba? Saan ka pa? By the way, like and follow nyo na rin ang Facebook page ko. Sabi nga ni Senator Mark Villar, the best has yet to come. Agiyaman ako for watching Kakabsat. This is Desai Barreto saying, let your money work for you. Start your real estate investment now with SMDC. Happy investing! Keep safe always and God bless. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!